Good morning, my dear listening friends out there. Wherever this message meets you today, may you be blessed. May your day be fulfilled. May all your wishes, your good wishes, be met for your family, your children. And may God bless you today. Join me today as I gave this special URJ in response to Spoon TV interview with uh, Evangelist Senator Prince Yelugbo Johnson. And uh, it's just a kind of pieces of advice that I would like to use this, the scripture uh, to do this uh, eulogy and uh, so that uh, we all can be healed through this trials time in our nation's history. Uh, today I'll be talking about Isaiah lamentation to the children of Israel. And uh, that is found in Isaiah chapter 2 verse 4 where he talked to the people of Israel to put aside war and turn to peace so that after war there will be a time of harvest. But when you see a nation after war and they're seeing how to know time for harvest, it means that something wrong. By way of introduction, let me just read my intro and please listen keenly. Isaiah tell the children of Israel, say my expression of grief on circumstances that surround Israel and today I'm saying my expression of grief of circumstances that surround Liberia, Sewa War and its players. Meaning that those who participated in the Liberian Sewa War. Also foreclosures, disclosures based on unfolding events that have turned Liberia into a turmoil and the worst humiliation, degradation, dehumanization, and the dignity of a nation, past and present nations, build us. Those who built our nation and started the foundation. But today, my hope and aspiration are to help us Liberians fully understand and assess what has gone wrong with our nation and its people. A reality, a reality far beyond a reasonable conclusion decades after the bloody civil war. As Isaiah set sail to dive into ending his dilemma on how to end war. We can end the physical war, the gun goes silent, but the second phase of the war that, that, that exists within us starts. So when you see a nation in conflict and the conflict can't end, it means that this physical conflict has stopped, but the spiritual, which is an internal conflict, is still burning in individuals. Whether you participated or you became a victim. So today, Isaiah chapter 2 verse 4, Isaiah set out to tell the people of Israel as I come to talk to Prince Johnson and those who participated in the war and the people of Liberia. And, and, and in that God shall judge between the nation and shall decide for many people. God will judge between various nations in the world whether you fought war or not and judge between people. And the people shall beat their soul into plushes and the spears into prony hooks. No and its people, no nation and its people shall not lift up so against another nation. 
neither shall they learn war anymore, which means war must come to an end. Isaiah 2.4, this is not just a vision from Isaiah, but a clear manifestation of any the suffering of the people. Isaiah knew after war there must be a planting and a time of harvest. Praise the Lord this morning. So I come to tell Prince Johnson after your interview on Spoon TV, I must let you know that, uh, that there must be a time of harvest. There were time the war was on, you was general, you had thousands of men on you. And things went wrong. And now it comes to the point where people begin to go back to history and dig out the evil that took place during the war. And you are one of the major players in the Liberian Civil War. Master Charles Taylor but the issue of people losing their family member, you have been all, you are all over YouTube, whatever happened with you. There's nothing there to doubt about. We understand there were times that you will find 10 bodies, but you will never find the head. So that you find, to the head, you never find a body of people from your county, from the county of Liberia. But that during that time, it was a time of conflict, a time of war. Now that people are complaining, I come before you today to tell you, you have to calm down. You have to listen. You have to be humble. Do not respond to everybody pain. You got to respond with love. You have to surround yourself and, 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 and take responsibility for what you did. The people of Nima are okay now. Development going on in Nima. <clears throat> you are building university, everything in Nima. That time, a war is over. It's time to say sorry to the people that you hurt. It's time to call for the rest of the people that you guys to go and justify yourself before the war crank out. And vindicate yourself. Liberian fought to get Taylor in jail and influence the world to get Taylor in jail when they left <clears throat> all the same fashion, they left sex fashion and the leaders sitting in that nation. That's why the nation cannot have a spirit of peace because the killers have now become the leaders of the people. Finally, let's see what Isaiah said. Isaiah explained his expression of grief over the idea of war and benefit of any war. So there will be a time for war, there will be a time for peace. So let's continue. The expressions, souls have become turned into plushier or beaten into plushier. It means that a state of conflict between two or more groups of people has ended and the period of peace has begun. So, Senator Johnson, Liberian, we are moving towards the peace process. Joshua Blighty went on air <clears throat> and he has simplified one of the highest of ominous and submission to Spoon TV to everybody who lashed at him. He was calm. And he was still apologetic and apologized to people of Liberia. You are a father, uncle prince. You have to sit down and go back to God and pray for God to give you the spirit of tolerance so that you will be able to respond to people who you hurt. I thank you and may God strengthen your heart. You are carrying the scripture, the word of God in your hand. It means that you're not that general Prince Johnson. You are general now for God's army. And the people around you must see that. I thank you. I hope I have done my part. I have played my role as a preacher. Your nephew has come to you today to ask you to, to, to turn your soul into plush and your spears into pruning hooks. 
because there must be a time for harvest. This is ta harvest time for Liberia. God bless you today for listening. Those of you who are listening to this message, may God bless you and let us keep praying for our country. I pray in the name of the Father, Son, and the blessed Holy Spirit. Amen and amen.